Thanks so much for being here. I am Dr. Brianne Grogan, and I'm going to take you through some stretches and a brief guided meditation to help you unlearn the tension that you might be holding in your mouth or jaw. This tension can come from teeth grinding, TMJ issues, and really any type of pain from clenching the temporalis and masseter muscles of your jaw. These are the muscles that you use when you're biting, chewing, or closing your jaw, and you can feel them bulge or tighten up on the side of your head and jaw when you clench your teeth. Try it right now. Repetitive straining and tightening of these muscles can result in pain in your jaw, as well as your cheeks, your head, your neck. It can also cause headaches. And interestingly, this type of pain and tension is correlated with pelvic pain. In one study of 137 women with vulvar vestibulitis syndrome, pain in the face and head, orofacial pain, was found in 78% of these women. If you're curious as to why, it's because everything in our bodies is connected. The pelvic and the low back muscles actually have direct fascial connections to the jaw. Both the psoas, the hip flexor muscles, and the jaw are highly prone to extreme tension when you're under emotional stress. And stress is the most common cause of clenching the jaw and grinding the teeth, especially during the day. So take a big exhale with me right now. (sighs) Unclench your toes, release your fingers, shake it all out. And let's get into a few gentle movements and stretches before moving into our jaw release meditation. Begin with cat and cow pose to warm up your back, your pelvis, and your neck. And to begin moving, stretching, and flowing all of the areas that are connected within the body. Follow along. And when you're ready, try opening your mouth and sticking out your tongue while in cow pose. And then close your mouth as you curl into cat pose. Again, open your mouth and stick out your tongue while in cow pose. And then close your mouth as you curl into cat pose. Keep going back and forth, breathing steadily in this flow. And maybe you can even bring your feet and toes into it too. Tuck your toes while in cow pose and then place the tops of your feet on the ground when you curl into cat pose. Just a couple more flows back and forth, breathing steadily, never, never, ever holding your breath. Now straighten one leg straight back behind you and move into this deep hip flexor stretch that's shown. If this position doesn't feel good for you or if it's too hard on your knees, then you can move into a deep squat stretch, maybe even sitting on a yoga block. Either way, whichever stretch you choose, breathe deeply and feel free to move your body just a little bit to wiggle and find that perfect position. Breathe steadily. If you have your leg back behind you, feel the stretch in the front of your hip. Now, if you're doing the hip flexor stretch with your leg back, go ahead and switch sides. Breathe deeply and move your body however you'd like to wiggle and find that just perfect position, that perfect stretch of your hip flexors. If you're in the deep squat stretch, be sure that your spine is long, your heart is lifted, and you're breathing deeply, opening the hips, feeling that stretch and strengthening of your pelvic floor, your hips.
If you're doing the hip flexor stretch with your leg back, go ahead and bring it forward. And come into a seated position where you are sitting on a yoga block or a meditation cushion or even in a chair. Just get comfortable so that you feel supported. I want you to be comfortable so that your spine is tall and lifted. Now we'll move into a brief guided meditation to help you identify and then unlearn the tension that you might be holding in your mouth or your jaw. Begin by massaging the masseter muscles very gently in a circular motion. It's really important to physically identify the muscles that you're trying to release using your sense of touch. Keep massaging your muscles gently and then sigh audibly like this. <sighs> to get comfortable releasing tightness in your jaw and your mouth. Do it again. Keep massaging your muscles gently and then give yourself a good sigh. Open your mouth and just release. Ah. <sighs> Now wrap up your massage and move into some slow, deep breathing. Deep diaphragmatic breathing helps bring you into greater body awareness and reminds you to give your neck and shoulder muscles a break and breathe more deeply down into your belly and your pelvic bowl. To begin, inhale for four counts. Then you're going to hold the inhale at the top for four counts. Exhale for four counts, and then hold the exhale at the bottom for four counts before you inhale again. This technique immediately makes the breath deeper and more meditative. If you'd like to join me with some counting, let's try it together now. Inhale, two, three, four, Hold at the top, two, three, four. Now exhale, two, three, four. Hold at the bottom, two, three, four. Again, inhale, two, three, four. Hold at the top, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, hold at the bottom, two, three, four. Last time on your own count or with me, inhale, two, three, four, hold it, two, three, four, and exhale, maybe a little bit longer this time, two, three, four, five, and hold it, two, three, four, five. Keep breathing, keep breathing on your own count, slowly, calmly, and deeply. As you breathe, we will begin the jaw release meditation. So again, we're just going to become aware of some tendencies or movement patterns that you might have. This awareness is the most important first step to releasing that tension. So to bring our awareness of these movement patterns or tendencies, try this with me. Let your teeth clench together and your jaw tense up to the point where you feel like your jaw muscles are almost pulsing on the sides. Really feel that tension, feel that holding, feel that energy, that hot, tight energy. Now feel the same thing happening in your pelvic floor. Feel your 
anus tighten. Feel everything at the base of your pelvis be tense, like you're ready, like you're ready to fight or flee. Tense up your abdominal area, like you're ready to fight or flee. Feel that tension, feel that holding. Feel the tension in your jaw, in your belly, in your abs, in your pelvic floor, in the muscles that surround your anus. Everything is tight. Now, I want you to choose again. Like a switch has been flipped, you realize that you're safe. You realize that everything is okay. And you exhale. You fully let go. Unfurl your belly. Lower your shoulders down away from your ears. Let your mouth hang open and your jaw go slack. Simply release. Unwind all of that pent up tension and stress. You can even let your head gently fall forward if that feels good. Maybe rock it gently side to side. Let everything totally relax and let go. Let go, let go, let go. Breathe deeply. Sigh. And let it go. If your head dropped forward, bring it back up to neutral, keeping your eyes closed if that feels good. Lift the crown of your head up toward the ceiling. Feel the back of your neck lengthen. Keep your shoulders relaxed down away from your ears. Bring the tip of your tongue to the roof of your mouth just behind your top front teeth. Let it rest there lightly. Keep your teeth apart with your lips softly touching or slightly apart. Return to your slow, deep breathing. And remember that life is yoga. Life is stretching yourself every day. Feeling stiff now and then. Feeling tight and tense every now and then. But always getting back up and trying again, knowing that you can always return to the release. Life is about moving into unity with the divine. It's about learning to be with your body, to be in your body, even in the hard times. Even in the awkward times when you're still learning, it's about loving yourself anyway. Coming back to your breath and stilling the fluctuations of your mind. Yoga is having the compassion and softness to bring yourself back and back when your mind wanders or when you start going down the path of anxiety or stress or overwhelm. Life is about coming back to the breath again and again returning to the one steady thing that you can always count on, your breath and your unending joyous heart space. Sink in, relax and let go. Breathe in, breathe out. Bring your attention back to your tongue position. If it has come forward or if it has thrust between your teeth, just place the tip of it back on the roof of your mouth 
and let it rest very lightly there. It should not touch your upper front teeth. It should just rest lightly on the roof of your mouth, like you're making an N sound. Try it now. N, like an N. This is perfect. It shouldn't feel like too much effort. Keep your teeth apart and let your jaw hang very lightly with your lips softly touching or slightly apart. Relax the muscles in your face, your jaw, your cheeks. Smooth out and relax the muscles around your eyes, around your mouth, and also up high on your forehead. Breathe deeply and softly for two more minutes and stay relaxed in the jaw, the face, the neck, the shoulders, and the pelvis. I will alert you that your time is up with the soft sound of a bell. Deep in your breathing, come back into the present moment. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. Roll your shoulders up, down, and back. Maybe you want to look your head up and down. And when you're ready to flicker open your eyes and really come back to the now go ahead and do that and I'll have you remember that the number one tip to relax your jaw muscles is to think of resting your tongue up on the roof of your mouth and to keep your teeth lightly apart even when your mouth is closed your teeth should be slightly apart the more you practice this during the day, the more you'll notice a difference with nighttime clenching and grinding as well. And you might also notice a difference in your pelvic pain or your pelvic tension as well. If you need additional support with this, you can further relax your jaw muscles by holding up a warm washcloth against your jaw area. That's a nice way to release and relax the muscles, especially before bed. 
And of course, if you need additional support and assistance with this, contact a professional who can help you and treat you one-on-one, such as an osteopath, a cranial sacral therapist, or a pelvic floor physical therapist. I'm really hoping that you enjoyed this jaw release meditation. For additional links and resources, please check the video notes. And until next time, remember, eat clean, move every day, and you will shine brighter. We'll see you next time.